My name is Lawrence Bartley. I came to prison when I was 17 years old. My name is Julian Castillo. I'm in prison because I killed two people. Been incarcerated 19 years, seven months. My name is LeBron Rogers. I shot my friend six times because I was angry. I know how it feels to have destroyed a family. I know how it feels to have eliminated a name. You can't make it right. I didn't miss I was sorry. I wanted to. <sighs> There's just so many issues why people come to prison. But one of the bigger issues is gun violence, and we see it every day. The men who are incarcerated for a good many years here wanted to reach out to the community to say, don't do what I do. Don't do what I have done to get here. And trying to get these 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15-year-old kids to stop and think for just one second before they grab that weapon. My name is Tyrone Abraham. I'm 40 years old. I made a choice, a gun that I held in my hands. A gun, when I first held one, gave me a sense of power. It made me feel strong. It made me feel like I was invincible. You could be the bad thing that happens to somebody. Think about that, right? There could be a family, there's a child, and, 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 and a father, and there's a mother, and there's a family. They come here from Africa to build a better life, and they say to themselves, if I'm careful, if I'm careful, then I can reach this good thing as long as nothing bad happens. And then I happen to him. You want to be the bad? You want to be the bad? We're going through a journey, and their own guilt, that nightmare, plays back every single day to them. When I was 17, one of my friends suggested to me, why don't you carry a gun? You need this. So I took up a gun, I held it, and then this gun became my security. The bullet shot into the crowd were real last night at a premiere of the movie, Godfather 3. I entered a movie theater with a group of friends. Then another group of teens came in, yelling. Pretty soon, an argument erupted between my group and that group. One of them pulled out a gun and fired it. I returned fire. Police rushed in to find four innocent victims wounded in the crossfire two of them teenagers, including Tremaine Hall. I didn't think I was gonna hit anybody, but I did it anyway. A little boy was shot. He died that night. Another victim, a 17-year-old boy, is in stable condition tonight after surgery for a gunshot wound in the left eye. Doctors don't know yet whether they managed to save the sight in that eye. I lost the left eye, but that's not even the half of it. I'm fortunate, I'm blessed to be here. Uh, Tremaine, who's not here anymore, has given me strength. And there's not a day that goes by where I don't think about him. When I think of that, I think of what happened at my trial. His father got on the stand. <laughs> his father called this kid his buddy. That was his buddy. <laughs> I took his buddy away from him. Me? How does that sit with me? These guys are 
committed to really making an impact on somebody's life, realizing that they can't change the past, and it's about the possibility of changing the future. There is nothing you can do to make it right. And it's that fast, and it's over, and it's done, and you don't even know what you did. And by the time you understand, it is too late.